Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are taking our very first look at the Tier 5 American aircraft carrier, the Ranger. So let's get into it. We got the Commander Ernest King with Henry Hyde and Jersey Swirsky. We are running Flyswatter, uh, Emergency Power, couldn't think for a second, Out of Sight, and Burn Baby Burn. And fully packed is our legendary skill. If you look at our ship, we are running Flight Control Mod 1, Air Groups Mod 2. We are fully upgraded, of course. And if you look, this gives you a uh, flag, Community Contributor Flag we're running, and a Community Contributor Camo. We also have five fighter air groups. Um, and then if you look at the stats, we have 47,320 hit points. Aircraft, you get one squadron of dive bombers and torpedo bombers. The torpedo bombers have 1,936 hit points. Uh, I'm going to assume that's one, it's for the full squadron. I know I think in the first couple aircraft videos I said that was for per plane, but it's not. It's for the full squadron, 1,936 hit points. Okay. Cruise speed, 103 knots. Maximum speed is 145 knots. Attack unit size is two. Aircraft per squadron is six. Detectability range is 10 kilometers. Aircraft on deck is 10 kilometers, or 10. I don't know why I said kilometers. Aircraft restoration time, 62 seconds. Torpedo maximum damage is 55, 67. Torpedo speed is our horrendous 35 knots. Torpedo range, three kilometers. Dive bombers, 2,348 hit points for the dive bombers. Cruise speed of 112 knots and maximum speed of 146 knots. Attack unit is six or two. Uh, aircraft per squadron is six. Detectability range of nine kilometers. Aircraft on deck is 10. Aircraft restoration time, 48 seconds. And maximum bomb damage is 13,800. Fire chance is 60% looking at our artillery we have eight 127 millimeter secondaries they reach out to four and a half kilometers reload time is four and a half seconds maximum shell damage is 1800 and they have a 17 percent chance to set fires uh, maximum speed 29 and a half knots thousand and ten meter turning circle good god <laughs> rudder shift time of 11.4 concealment 9.1 with our current build, so not particularly sneaky for a, for a carrier, but uh, it's still pretty sneaky overall. Detectability when ship is on fire is 11.1. .1. Detectability by air is 7.7. .7. Detectability after firing a secondary gun shell is still 7.7 because .7 we don't have anything that affects that at the moment. Detectability when the ship is on fire, 10.7 from the air, and guaranteed is always 2. Now let's look at the armor on this thing. We have 19 millimeters of uh, armor on the front and rears of this ship. And uh, why is 19 millimeters interesting? Well, that means that uh, anything up to 102 millimeters of HE gets resisted, but AP can go through. Uh, but it also resists uh, being overpinned or overmatched by 203 millimeter guns. So even like the heavy cruisers are gonna struggle to do any AP damage to you um, as long as you're bow in. Now, of course, that changes when you're broadside on. Dang it, I did the thing again. Sorry, guys. Uh, but anyway, if we get rid of the front armor and the superstructure, you gotta love the fact that it is now looking more and more like an actual aircraft carrier, right? So what happens when you build a ship for an aircraft carrier rather than just retrofit a ship? But if we get rid of all that, you can see that the uh, Citadel here is uh, underwater for the most part. But if you shoot after the superstructure towards the rear, you can Citadel it pretty, pretty decently. All right. So overview, tough aircraft, aircraft with above average HP pool, powerful AA defense, above average AA gun firepower, slow aircraft, aircraft with below average speed. The first U.S. aircraft carrier of special construction. The ship carried a large air group. The carrier's speed was quite high for her type. Her drawbacks included a lack of torpedo protection and impractical arrangement of aircraft elevators, which slowed down the handling of air groups. 
She entered service in 1934, and there was one of them built. So, let's take a look at this beauty. Now, obviously, this is our first uh, actual aircraft carrier that we get to see for the Americans. The other one was a retrofitted ship, so this one just looks a lot more, you know, put, put together. But uh, I, I do like it. I do like it. Uh, it just doesn't look like a ship that's been cobbled together, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, let's get to the gameplay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. God, I'm an idiot. I'm actually stupid. All right. So, uh, hello, guys. Uh, I completely forgot that I already did the intro, so uh, welcome. I'm going to leave that in because you guys probably get a chuckle out of it. Anyway, uh, we are on Atlantic. We are in Ranger, and we're going to have ourselves one of those games. Now, I will be real honest with you guys. I don't care to play these carriers. I honestly don't. It's not my play style. It's not that entertaining. I don't think it's that fun to play, in my personal opinion. But uh, I know everybody's mileage may vary. I like playing against them uh, so far. Like, it's it's not difficult to play against a carrier. And as long as you uh, play a normal, you know, game, then you'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, these, these carriers are just not my cup of tea. So I'm going to push forward right off the bat. We've got our uh, torpedo bombers. We're going to try to find the first target and see if we can get some hits early. Now, I have gotten a little bit better with the carriers uh, up to this point, but the problem right now is you're, you're playing in mostly AI battles. And anytime you have AI battles, like, the AI don't know any better. They just sail on a straight line and hope for the best and uh, can be very, very annoying for a carrier, especially when your team does the exact same thing because they're AI and uh, you just get overrun. And there's nothing you can do about it. But then you get matches like we're about to have where it's a little bit more uh, player-based. And we, we get to actually showcase what these ships have... Oh, hello. How you doing? Am I going to be able to get this off? Eh, it's unlikely, but we're going to give it a shot. We get the torpedo off. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, we missed him. We missed him. Uh, kind of wasn't our original target, but uh, we definitely tried to grab him there. Uh, we're going back in. This time, we got a much better approach angle, and we're going to be able to get a much better salvo off. Now, unfortunately, there seems to be a collision course going on here. And sure enough, they run right into one another. Imagine that. Two bots that just sail in a straight line and just ram each other. Who to fuck it? So uh, here, I let my, my squadron uh, come back from their attack run. We're going to swap back around. We've got a cruiser nearby. You don't want to be attacking cruisers early in a battle uh, because... They, their AA just nukes aircraft, like just straight up nukes them. So uh, we're going to try to get a good drop here. It's going to be close. We try. It's not a perfect drop. We're going to get a little bit of spread, but is that going to be enough to hit him with at least one? Looks good. And we do get one good hit right off there. And uh, we've got one plane left. We're going to try to see if we can't attack this other cruiser in the back, see if we can't get a second torpedo in this run, and then we'll swap back. But uh, unfortunately, not able to get our accuracy any better and uh, we end up leading it a little bit too much but it looked like Konigsberg went down anyway uh, so that was kind of huge for the team I'm gonna start moving forward now that the immediate threat of getting taken out on this side of the map is is pretty much gone uh, I'm gonna try to help with this Omaha if I can and we're gonna start moving forward to close the gap because the, you want to close the gap in a carrier as best you can because it helps get your your planes involved more quickly so here we switch over to our, a our HE bombers, and I will be real honest, I hate the HE bombers. They are so frustrating to use. I am getting better with them, but they are so frustrating to use. So uh, you can see the target on the map, but no, no, that's just a fake target. That ain't where you're actually aiming. But uh, you can see we're going to try to square up. We're use we, we launched it about three kilometers, and then we get nice and close, and we get an incapacitation with zero damage. Yeah. Frustrating. But it's okay because we can we can circle back and maybe we'll get a better better opportunity this time. Now we're inside two and a half kilometers, which is not what I want to be because then I have to release the bombs from too high, meaning I generally miss. And so we're just going to go ahead, drop the bombs, and call our, our planes back. Uh, no chance to really get any damage there. Omaha goes down. We are regrouping with our team, staying nice and close to them. And we're going to start working our way... Uh, over the center of the map and trying to see if we can't deal with some battleships now there's two battleships left and a uh, carrier so if we can manage to get them now we're, we've got a four to three advantage 
but it could change at any moment. Our cruiser's in no man's land out here, and it's a uh, bot, so unfortunately, that's not going to last very long. So it's basically tied up at this point. We do see their New York, and apparently this New York was disconnected or just not playing in general. So uh, we're going to try to get in here and see if we can't get an easy torpedo strike off against them. And uh, we've got a full squadron to do it, so hopefully we'll be able to get in here and take some shots at him. Now, again, I didn't realize he wasn't playing. I just see a ship. Uh, he's, he's sitting out there broadside to my position uh, with the planes. So it makes him a very easy target to, to torpedo. And so we start our torpedo run. We want to get these nice and accurate so that we get a nice narrow spread on the target. And we want to launch before we get to that, that orange area. So we, we give a little bit of a lead here, just making sure that we don't over uh, launch too close because then they won't arm. But uh, we do get two hits on them. We get one flood. That's going to be big. We haven't done a whole lot of damage up to this point, but that's going to change. We're going to be instrumental in the end of this match. So uh, we get an attack run against the carrier. You can't really uh, avoid this. You know, if, if he's got his planes in the air, he can't, he can't do anything. So he's not moving. We are, so he's going to have a hard time hitting us, but we're not going to have a hard time hitting him. We get two good hits on the carrier, and we get our uh, torpedo bomber squadron back into the air for another run. Now, unfortunately, we only have three planes in this one, or no, four, four planes in this squadron. And so we get two, two full drops, potentially, uh, if nobody gets shot down. And you can see the battleship to my right is is kind of getting my attention this this carrier while it is nice to try to get rid of the carrier and you can see i'm headed straight for him i know that i'm gonna struggle to take out this carrier uh because of the aa so we see the wreck of the the new york to my left and the ranger gets spotted and before his fighters have a chance to come up and and nail us we're going to try to drop in underneath these guys and see if we can't get an attack run here now Unfortunately, he is bow on to our attack run. We don't have a very good attack uh, solution here. So we, we swing out a little bit wide and then come back and hope for the best. Uh, that's going to cause a little bit of a spread, but I'm hoping that we can get at least one hit. And sure enough, we do. Uh, we catch him once again, getting another 4,700 damage. Now, because of the fact that there's a Bayern off to my right, I've got to start making a maneuver to avoid him. Now, the next part of this is going to showcase something that I think needs to uh, be fixed. I don't believe you should be able to launch your aircraft off the end of a runway when there's a freaking island three feet in front of your runway. Uh, so, that's just my opinion. Wargaming, please fix this because this is a uh, an exploit that I think shouldn't exist. Uh, I'm going to park myself nose in to this island to avoid being shot by the battleship. Now, obviously, their carrier could still drop torps and actually would have a much easier time dropping torps on me because I'll be broadside on just absolutely begging for it. However, we've got an HE bomber squadron up. We've got our opportunity. We're going to go ahead and start our attack run. We want to get nice and tight. You're watching the timer, watching the timer. Five seconds. Come on. Three or four, three, two, and launch the bombs. And we get two good hits right there. No fires, but, but good hits. And we're up to 37,000 damage. And we took very little damage. I think we lost one plane in that attack. So we're going to come back and try to do it again. Now, obviously, the carrier is playing anti-battleship at the moment, which is good news for me as a carrier because, I, like I said, he has an opportunity to nuke me right now, but uh, he's not doing it. And now we get a very juicy attack run here, and we get another hit, and this time we do get a fire. So what we're doing here is we're trying to make this guy just not able to hit us. And you can see we're sticking with the HE bombs because we're able to get some hits uh, at close range. It's very difficult at very close ranges to hit with the uh, torpedoes. So you can see I'm starting attack runs almost immediately because he's so close. And then as soon as we get a chance, we drop over the top and we get two hits and another fire on him. And we're up to 42,000 damage. Now, we've got some more bombs here, so we're going to turn back around. Looks like we're about to lose another plane. We're starting our attack run. Are we going to be able to drop another one? Come on, baby. Got to get it nice and tight. We're at four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Drop the bombs. And we missed that one horrendously. He was turning in, so uh, we kind of got ourselves out of, out of touch there. Now, here we switched over to our torpedo bombers, and we're going to start launching our next salvo of uh, hatred towards this guy. Uh, we've got to... 
got to get rid of this man. But uh, it looks like these battleships are on a collision course, but our battleship's turning to a void. We're going in for our torpedo run on this battleship. Are we going to be able to get him this time? It looks like a very good run. We drop the torps. Come on, baby. It, oh, he dies just as we get the torpedoes off. But uh, that's okay. He's dead. That's what matters. We're at 50,000 damage. We know where their carrier's at. We're headed straight for him. We're, we're not scared of this guy. His fighters are already in the air, so we've got to be careful with that. And we're going to start our attack run right about now. And that's going to allow us. But unfortunately, again, we're launching from a terrible angle. Uh, we're going to have to try to hook these torpedoes in there, and that's going to make them less accurate. We drop the torps. Are we going to get another hit? Come on, baby. Oh, those actually look pretty good. Come on. We get one hit and a flood. That's huge. And we take him down with the second hit. Woohoo! We managed to get some good damage in this one, and it was a fun battle. Uh, like I said, not a big fan of playing the carriers personally, but, you know, 60,000 damage, a nice clutch comeback to help our battleships carry this match. Uh, definitely want to stick around for the Ryojo video tomorrow. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.